I'm Temi Lola Adepetu. I run School Kids Limited. Omolara Koka Ilori. I'm an educationist. Margaret Olayika Uni. I am an educationist. Elizabeth Ajibola. I am the Hendi CEO of Mount Olive Nigeria Limited. Ochiko Ama. I'm an educationist. Dr. Oluwa Kemi Olukoya Dosumo. I'm a medical doctor and a reproductive endocrinology and fertility specialist. I worked in the oil industry for 14 years and I suddenly got up and left that job and started this business. So I'm very passionate about it. It's, um, it's about supporting working women and providing uh, back to school where they can buy everything for their kids in one shop without any stress. The state of education in Nigeria, you know, that's what actually brought me into education sector and that's the number one drive. I want to make it better. I want to make it good. I want to make it, you know, a standard that is not, you know, even better than the one what we see internationally. So that's what gives me to drive to actually go into the education sector. Because I love impacting knowledge, even though I was in banking, I, I noticed that um, being a business um, development officer, I enjoyed the fact that I could tell people what to do. Uh, I found that I was quite productive and I was quite creative. I discovered that um, I was molding and creating wealth and I felt that um, I wanted to do it, I wanted to do it more to humanity and that was what took me to the teaching profession because I believe I could mold create and mentor children. What led me to this profession is my background. My mom was also into food distribution and I picked the interest from there. So while I was in medical school, I was opportune to go on a scholarship program to the UK. And during my medical training there, I rotated with senior consultants in the obstetrics and gynecology department. I saw a huge difference in the way quality of healthcare was delivered and that really got me you know on this part of how we could best improve our healthcare delivery and healthcare system as a whole in Nigeria. I had a vision. God promised that he would give me so many children. How it will happen I didn't know until I started praying about it and as I was praying I received that vision that God was going to give me so many children and I was going to start a school. Our relationship with FCMB actually started two years ago. I knew how it is to just open an account with an SME friendly company, which we know FCMB to be. And we did open the account. Then later on, about a year after that, an opportunity came for us to supply, uh, to make a very large order and uh, you know it's popularly known as LPO financing and we you know we tried a couple of places but it was only FCMB that was receptive um, to that idea and um, they, they researched everything they did their due diligence and they were able to extend us that facility and it was it was wonderful because um, somehow that opened to us a new line of business and uh, they supported us greatly and their team worked very well with us you know, partnering with us all the way, monitoring the progress of the, of the project and everything was successful. By the very first year I got into FCMB, they supported me. They gave me facility. Then I needed to buy books. That was the first they did for me, you know. And I approached the bank and it was like so fast. I've never, you know, come in contact with um, the banking sector being that efficient and that fast in giving loans. So it has been awesome. They are always there and it's working well. I choose to, I will choose to work with them over and over and over again. They are good. I see that um, they, they kind of, FCME kind of attend to women faster. I don't know, that's my own impression and that's what I've seen over the years that I've been with them. So I'll encourage other women that are in business like me to, to come to FCMB. They will definitely support them. FCMB, just keep doing what you're doing and keep supporting the women. And uh, I also noticed that um, it's not only the big entrepreneurs that they support. Like I said, my kind of um, 
education and the passion I have and the kind of school I run is not for the um, creme de la creme. It's actually for the medium class and the low class. And they still support me, so they are good. Thank you, FCMD. My relationship with FCMD is a fantastic relationship and it's a peculiar relationship. I started with them six months ago and I started with a boring relationship. I, they came in when I needed to do an expansion in my school and they came in at the nick of time. They were quite helpful and by God's grace we have um, used the phone judiciously and it's paying off because with that particular funding we got over 120 people into the school. They are, they are quite friendly to their customer, they are in tune with their customers and to a large extent they want to go the extra mile to ensure that your business succeeds. For banking, I think that is a giant strike for any bank. I will not only encourage other women to partner with FCMB, I will even go beyond that. Because after they did what they did for me six months ago, I've been telling everybody that cares to listen that FCMB is the bank to be. They are interested in developing business and that's what we need in Nigeria. They go beyond funding businesses for women. They go as far as advising the women on what to do. And today in Nigeria, I believe that when you build a woman, you build the nation. Nigeria really needs this at this point in time. Thank you. Her relationship with FCMB has been mutually beneficial. Uh, the bank has been very supportive. We have enjoyed a lot of funding uh, from the bank. They have um, given us funds to enhance our working capital to purchase products from food manufacturers in Nigeria. Um, I've been working with FCMB. I'm still with them and I'll keep being with them. They are very fast when it comes to attending to customers' requests and I would advise to keep that up. I would encourage other women to partner with FCMB. They are good people, friendly people. They are there to listen, they are there to advise. And I say kudos to them for that. I will um, encourage other women to partner with FCMB. Um, just like I said, there is, they provide ease of banking and they're very supportive and then they have unique products that can actually support your business in different ways. What I'll say to other female uh, entrepreneurs on their journeys, keep the dream alive, stay on it, stay well, take care of yourself and on whatever career path or opportunity you find yourself, use those as mediums to express the best of you and also be very nice to people. Um, for that down your business journey, you'll find that very successful. For me, I actually started my business from the client to the product um, because of the relationship I'd had with people. Someone actually called me to render a service. I wasn't thinking of starting off immediately back then and that was how I kicked off my business. So that's it. So just stay on your journey and keep at it. We'll encourage other women to partner with FCMB. Clearly women that are struggling and um, don't know where to get funds. FCMB really helped us. I did not know anything about FCMB. 2007 when they came in and it was so easy collecting the loan from them but I have been faithful too I did not defraud I did not I paid every month so I will encourage women to collect loan and plan to pay back it's very important to plan to pay back they, they have the reputation of understanding SMEs and how SMEs work. And now with the She, um, with the she Ventures initiative that, uh, that is just commencing, I think it's a very laudable one. And uh, the more women that can join it, because I did ask uh, in the course of um, this program that would there be advisory services? Women need advisory services. So I'll encourage FCMB to include advisory services um, with the She Ventures um, program. From what I can see, um, they take their time to study your business, your line of business, and they work with you along the way, alongside you. 